Are you a dairy producer? Or do you grow grapes, nuts, fruits, or vegetables? We have it all with American Vineyard, Pacific Nut Producer, California Fresh Fruit, California Dairy, and Vegetable West magazines. Subscribe for free now at malcomedia.com. Stay current on the freshest news in your industry. Do you have problems with ground squirrels in the orchard? Well, I'm here with Roger Baldwin from UC Davis who gave some key tips and strategies on improving your squirrel control in the orchard. Ground squirrels are big problems for nut producers. Uh, obviously, they will consume nuts directly and that can be an issue. Uh, they can also cause mortality of trees by girdling of, of either branches or sometimes for, for newly planted trees around the base of the tree. That can be an issue too. That can result in loss of irrigation water. Another big issue is they can uh, chew on the irrigation lines and that can, can cause substantial damage repair, repair costs and loss of water that way. So management is typically needed if you have ground squirrels in, in an orchard. Um, there are several different techniques that can be used. We certainly recommend using an integrated approach to manage um, uh, these species. Uh, by integrated approach, I mean using multiple techniques. Uh, some of the more commonly used techniques include habitat modification. That can be a good way to, to alter the desirability of an area for these species. Um, also, oftentimes you'll need some form of, of lethal control. Uh, that can be trapping, that can be use of burrow fumigants, that can be use of uh, verdenicide baits. Um, all of them can be effective. Uh, the baits, particularly um, the first generation anticoagulants, difacinone and chlorofacinone are oftentimes one of the more cost effective approaches. But in some situations, baits won't work and burrow fumigants will work. And so things like aluminum phosphide, gas cartridges, and carbon monoxide producing machines can be very effective at reducing ground squirrel populations, particularly when you have relatively high soil moisture, because that's when the burrow fumigants are effective. And then trapping sometimes can be used as a follow-up approach to remove some of the remaining individuals, but it tends to be a little bit more labor-intensive. Uh, certainly there are some other approaches that sometimes work. Uh, for example, shooting is something that can work in some situations. Um, so there are some other options uh, that you may be familiar with that can work as well. Um, the important take-home message is a combination of these approaches typically give you better results than relying on, on anyone by themselves. Learn more about integrated pest management in the orchard by reading your monthly issue of Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgNet.com.